Easy Chef, Big Vibes. Just to let you know, ITAL is vital. And today I'm giving you part two of the ITAL suite. This time I'm gonna soup it up with some veggie chunks. And if you don't know what veggie chunks is, veggie chunks is simply soy protein. Crazy Chef, Big Vibe, Jamaican Vegetable Stew, if you want to call it Jamaican Ital Stew, you know, whatever you want to call it. This bean stew is delicious. So first thing I want to do is I want to wash and clean my beans and stuff. Because these beans was, you know, dry, they've been in the bag for a while, I want to really, really wash them, you know, just get them prepared. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in my Instapot, right? So I'm gonna wash them, put them in my Instapot, and just cook them for 10, 10 to 12 minutes, so to say. And then we're just gonna chop up our vegetables and we're gonna get going. Crazy Chef, big vibe. If you like the vibe, hit that subscribe button right support the channel hit that like button so to make this delicious item stew right all you need is a variety of beans usually I just go to my local grocery store I get that uh, bean blend there's red beans in there there's kidney beans in there there's pigeon peas in there there's a bit of lentils in there the variety of beans I get like a seven bean or a 12 bean then I get some pumpkin some tomatoes some peppers some onions some garlic some green onions you know me I like green onions I love green onions I just love the flavor from green onions right so I put some green onions in there some tomatoes because I need body right whatever vegetable you like you can throw some cauliflower in there I wouldn't recommend broccoli because it's disintegrate it cooks too soft you know so broccoli is not my vegetable of choice if you want to put it in there you can put it in there you can make it vegan if you want or you can go straight vegetarian you know me I like me some butter so I'm gonna put some butter in mine but your kitchen your dish your vibe you can put whatever you want in your dish so let's go back to the story I told this story before when I made my first item stew my majority of my family is Rastafarians me I'm not I've never been a big meat eater you know I try to keep it on the vegetarian side most of the time I like a little fish I like a little chicken I don't eat pork I don't eat most processed meats so personally I usually like me some idle food I eat a lot of idle food right so most of my my family is vegetarian I've been having this all my life like I don't see anyone can cook idle stew better than me and that's a fact right this recipe that I say I'm 45 this recipe probably be 60 years old right because I learned this recipe from my uncle so crazy chef big vibe enough about me tell me something about you you know give me something in those comments let me know where you're from let me know your vibe let me know how you started on the ITAL journey so chop up your vegetables get them ready your beans are cooking you know you want a little make sure you have a little dry spice I like to put a little curry you know it gives it that nice color so that's why I put the curry and as I told you about the green onion and don't mind my chopping skills I'm a professional <laughs> crazy chef big vibe it's if your first time here hit that red subscribe button look at that scotch bonnet pepper hit that like button big 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 vibe so back to my item stew jerk right 
So this item stew, you wanna do, you wanna chop up your, first we're gonna chop up our vegetables, right? As soon as we chop all our vegetables, we're gonna just go in that pot, right? We gotta saute them, we're gonna do all that other stuff. So, Ital food, right, is just, just a little history, is from Rastafari. It's not from anywhere else. There's no other vibe. It's a Rastafari vibes, right? So, whether you're Nayabingi, Bobo Shanti, or 12 tribes, right? Ital stew is a Rastafari. So because of the big, you know, vegan population and vegetarians and everyone's trying to eat healthy, it's become a worldwide thing, right? Rastafarian, Jamaican vibe, straight out of Ethiopia, right? So the Rastafarian movement for years have been making all these healthy dishes, right? Trying to teach people the right way to live from the land right so before there was any vegans and any vegetarians there was item food most people would eat a little item so what the Rastafarians would do is they would uh, you know they cultivate their own food so they had their, their house and in the back they'd have their farm and from the farm is how they would survive, right? They'd make their milk from, you know, soy, coconut, all that stuff, right? They'd live from the land and they'd smoke a little weed, you know? <laughs> So the Rastafarians was, what would you say? They were like outcasts. So they had to find ways to survive, thus making them, you know, survive from the land. And now you can have idle food anywhere. It's a, it's a vibe, so to say. You know, the vegans are doing it, the vegetarians are doing it, the poor is doing it, the rich is doing it. It's a way of life. People want to be healthy. You know vegan they want to you know change their diet you know they want to lose a couple pounds it worked out but give praises to the Rastafarians they've been doing it forever it's been their way of life so this idol stew was taught to be by my uncle who was a Rastafarian right so that's how I got this recipe and over the years I've perfected it based on you know my knowledge of cooking my knowledge of food the science of how some ingredients work better with some ingredients so I've perfected it a little bit not to say it wasn't perfect before but it's beautiful now and I have so in my family is like seven brothers right so there's two that's not rastafarian so my other brothers you know they thought they have the recipe but this is the recipe like this recipe this is it you can go on any idol recipe on this channel right 
make the dish and I guarantee you this is that recipe like this is the recipe for you just because it was taught to me by real Rastafarians and me you know being a chef for all these years I've perfected it based on the science of food right so Rastafarians you know they made this dish right it's this dish is done all around the world right now before you know it was just you'd have to go get this like in the woods are in like just a basic Rastafarian restaurant now you can make it in your house you can get it anywhere it's international right so Rastafarians they spread unity they speak love you know they're all about empowerment right that's why Rastafarian meal is so good because Rastafarian is about empowerment about love you put love in a pot it's a beautiful thing you know that's what you get love comes out you know they put the love in the love comes out that's how you cook you cook with love <laughs> so to say right so the primary goal of this you know this ital vibe is to increase wellness in living you know to, to push out your energy you know it's believed that all human beings as you know it's like something from the almighty you know, it's from the gods right that's how they believe in this idol food they believe you know it's gonna make you better you know? so you take all these ingredients you put it in a pot and it's supposed to make you better so Rastafarians share this recipe like they've shared this recipe with us to make us better right so a little bit about my dish now what I do is I take the veggie chunks and I kind of burn it I don't burn it but I cook it crispy then I add my vegetables see all those beautiful vegetables so I add all those beautiful vegetables right and you steam you steam it because remember we're not using a lot of oil we're using a little bit of coconut oil right and you just steam it and you get all those flavors to push out right so you steam it and then you're gonna cover it and let it sweat then we're gonna add some water let it boil a little bit then we're gonna add our beans so what we're doing now is we're just gonna saute it a little bit just to get our flavors together right and look how beautiful those fresh vegetables look. no meat healthy vibe look at that look at that delicious thing like you could eat that right there healthy that's what it's about crazy chef big vibe big vibe like share subscribe why would you subscribe to this type of vibe so I'm saying why wouldn't you subscribe to this type of vibe so waters from heaven in our pot then we're gonna cover we're gonna let it simmer and then we're gonna add the rest of our ingredients crazy chef big 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 vibe so let's talk a little bit more about Rastafarians and how the inspiration of Rastafarian came up with this beautiful dish right it sounds weird you know? it sounds like I'm a so like a spiritual movement but that's what it is the idol stew it's a spiritual movement of life that's why it's so good look at that look at that I'm calling it a spiritual movement of life look at that delicious it's not done yet that's what I'm trying to tell you it's not done yet look how delicious that look and it's not done yet it's just bubbling so as I said right over the years me personally have you know there's some things that make food so much better 
So what I'm adding, remember I'm not Rastafarian. You can, if you're vegan or you're real Rastafarian, you don't have to put this flavor in it. But all this is, is a pumpkin flavored mix, right? So we did, notice we didn't add any salt. So this is what we're gonna use. This pumpkin flavored mix to give it that vibe. That's what we're gonna use to give it that vibe. And that's just the science of life. Added to the inspiration of Rastafari. And look at that. Looks even more delicious. Tell me that's not a vibe. Tell me that doesn't look delicious. So what I'm gonna do now, right? Now I'm gonna add my beans. Look at that. Look at them beans. Look at them beans. So, reason I like to use the mixed beans is, if you look at it, some beans cook before some. So, what it does is it provides body because you gotta remember this dish is gluten free so it's vegetarian vegan if you don't put any butter and you don't put that uh, soup mix right vegan because we use coconut oil natural and it's rastafari and it's high top. it's good for you it's a vibe like it's this should be your way of life if you want to lose weight right delicious the way of life straight to rastafarians from the gods this recipe is years 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 old this recipe is older than me why are you wasting time not subscribing to the vibe crazy chef big vibe i tell stew don't forget i tell is vital to life crazy chef like share and subscribe